All right, Graham Murphy Tech Rentals, continuing along from the previous video here. Okay, um, I've, I've hit stop, I've programmed up a single channel as a thermocouple. Now, um, the data has been saved to CSV format automatically, which means the fact it's comma separated. So when I plug this USB memory stick over here into a PC, we can open it straight away in Excel. Very simple. Now, the next sensor we're going to look at is the fact that I've got a just a straight voltage um, which is happens to be off battery on channel 2. Now the voltage will be between 0 and uh, about 15 volts so it's a nice um, that's a, just a straight battery so I'm going to hit set up and configure this. Now again I can either use the range to set it up very quickly and have a look etc etc in this case I'll use this pan panel here so I'm going to come down to where it says channel 1 and I can go uh, go the other way is now we're up to channel 2 now I'll bring it across to here switch it on now 100 millivolts range is wrong so I'm going to set it up to about a 20 volt range and again the span I'm going to set um, yeah okay then that's right span I'm going to set to um, uh, the, the upper will be uh, 20 volts yeah okay it keeps telling me that that's fine range has been changed Okay, measurement range. Okay, and the lower value is uh, zero volts. Okay, so it's, that's disconnected. All right, so now we've got a, um, a channel running. Now, if I turn around and connect that, we're looking at two. She goes up to 13.4 volts, back down to zero. 13.4, zero. So again, if we want to have a look at that, I can hit start if I wish. Yes, now again, here we are, there's our thermocouple, here's our voltage applied, voltage released, etc. Now, we can have a, we'll use this a little later to show some of the triggering options. Thank you very much. I'll continue with the next video.